So, today we're going to be checking out two awesome mods in Beam and G Drive. We've got one that transforms this game into American Truck Simulator, and we have an awesome new train mod. And, folks, we got a couple runaway trains that we're going to have to stop. So, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. So, before we get to our little American Truck Simulator mod, uh, we've got a working train yard, and this is absolutely fantastic. Now, I don't know a whole lot about trains, I know they like to crush stuff and beam and G drive, but this is a really, really good setup uh, for anybody that's like a train enthusiast. So if I were to go over to tab, now I spawned in these two locomotives, but if I go here, you see a, a new menu, and this is a UI map where you can completely set up this yard. So if you look over to the right, you have spawned different locomotives here. Uh, these do require a couple mods. So yeah, I can click any of these buttons. So let's go boom. Uh, give it a second, it's spawning another uh, locomotive. And I think I might have just spawned it inside of uh, the other one. This is fine. Let's go ahead and remove it. But you guys get the idea as to how this works. So, yeah, you can also uh, play with... Oh, and where did my UI app go? I think I might have broken something. Oh, there it is. Okay, so you can also uh, pretty much set the routes. This is something I don't really understand, but I know clicking buttons normally gets me in trouble. Uh, so that's definitely a thing. So, like, you can actually set a route. So I guess if we were coming... Let's see. We're on the TM, which I think it's on this side or the tm9 tm4 tm4 is down here so yeah you could set the route so see how it went green up here uh, you can set the direction uh set the route uh you can get to there's the platforms there's like a cargo yard here on the bottom and yeah you can change and switch all these and it's just a full functioning train yard plus the map itself is really cool too because it's got quite a bit of track here so let me go ahead and throttle up here on this bad boy uh, give it a second. Yep. Oh, are we gonna move here? Uh, I gotta figure out how trains work again in Beam and G. It's been so long since I played with one of these. Ah, right, here we go. All right, I got the train moving here, Hans. Huh? Look at the interior. Oh, this is fantastic. This is like playing Train Simulator, except for you can die a very horrible death. Also, I don't know if I've switched any of these tracks here, and we might go careening into something that we're not supposed to. Uh, hold on. Are we gonna actually get out here? Okay, we're gonna go by the platforms. There's a the cargo yard over there. Dude, this is cool. Like, I actually want to sit down and learn a little bit more about this. Uh, also, I want to download uh, more carts, more trains. That way you can actually make, like, a big uh, either passenger train or cargo train. This is sweet. Uh, also, there's a chance we're going to crash into the train that we spawned down there. Unless the switch is set up right and we take a left, which I'm kind of hoping that it's not set up right. And we just go straight here and, oh, my prayers are answered. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that was glorious. All right, we got to smash some cars here today. No. Oh, did I also mention that there is uh, parts of the environment that are destructible? Uh, you can see that the little stop on the end, we completely destroyed it there. That was satisfying. Not going to lie. All right, so we know where we're coming from here. Uh, is there a marker on this? I want to see if I can actually switch it to go. Okay, so we're in TM4 here. Uh, I need this last switch here to send us to the left. Uh, that way we can get out to the main... I'm, I'm going to call it the main line. I know somebody that speaks train is probably ticked off at me right now. Uh, so it'll be TM9 that we need to switch. Let me see what happens here. So we have TM9. Uh, can I switch this one? Okay, so I figured out what I'm doing. So we're in TM4 here, and we're going to go down towards TM9. I actually hit the switch here, so it's going to switch us up to this. And then it should switch us and go, I guess, down to TM10, which I think leads out of the yard. Uh, so that's a safe route on oh, turn everything this way. I think I did this right. We're about to see I mean last time we crashed into a train So we'll know a uh, kind of what we're doing here if this works. Okay. There's a lot on the line here Do you think we actually did this right? Uh, if we did we should be in like a full loop here And I think if we're on those left lines uh, the switches are set to where it will just travel through the station our real objective here was to get past the one train that we kind of killed earlier. So if I've done that, I am officially, uh, will call myself a yard master, which I don't think that's the terminology they use, but I just wanted to say that. So yeah, I definitely strongly suggest you guys check out this mod. I'll have this mod, uh, linked down in the description. Uh, we're coming up to the moment of truth though. Can I actually get onto, I guess we'll call it the main line and actually drive around the map? Uh, I want to see that. Okay, I should probably slow down just a little bit. Uh, on, hit the brakes a little bit. <gasps> come on, come on, I did it! 
Okay, so that's how you kind of work the... Uh-oh. Uh, uh, did I switch the next one? Okay, I think we're going to go right here. Okay, there we go. No, this is fine. So I'm going to let this train go. We are throttled up all the way. Uh, let it just kind of do its thing. It's like playing with the big uh, train set. So, oh. Um, I think we were supposed to go to the left side. This side doesn't look like it's quite finished yet. <laughs> I think the left side looks like it's the big loop. Oh, we are so screwed. What are we going to crash into, by the way? <gasps> oh, it is a jump. Oh, this is going to kick it over. This is going to look amazing. Well, at least we get to look at something cool here. All right, here it goes. And yes. Oh, that was glorious looking. Yeah, buddy. Wait, is this still go? Wait, what? Okay, it's still driving. <laughs> it's fine. You know, there's a chance I would have made it out of this alive. I mean, if I could have strapped myself down to the seat. Uh, the left side of the cockpit's gone. And yeah, it's just kind of driving off. Okay. So, one more time just to show you guys how this works. We need to switch on to the TM11 here. So, uh, we'll switch. I think it's this one here. So that'll put us on the TM11 and it should send us out. I think this is the loop. And if we come back through the station or the by the platform here, we should shoot right through. Of course, we're probably not going to make it all the way through. That's a thing. Also, this is the other train. Is there a person? Oh, I could have swore for a second. I saw like a, a ragdoll in there, which I feel like if you could put the ragdolls in here, that would be amazing. But okay, uh, we're ready to go. One more run. Uh, I learned a little bit about what I was doing here. I mean, I'm still stupid when it comes to trains, but I mean, at least I was able to get the train out of the station. Okay, here we go. We are booking it right now. We should go left here. There we go. So this should loop around. So we have a, uh, a train going here. Hold on, let's go. Uh, I think this loops around. Yeah, you can see the track. Uh, like I said, everything's a work in progress here. Like even the road kind of just ends. So we'll come all the way around here. Oh, we'll cross over a train bridge. That's pretty epic looking. Uh, we should totally set up, I don't know, if it doesn't derail, like we could totally set up some cars over here and see if we could shove them through the bridge. That sounds like a fun idea. We'll see how many cars the train can take out. I'd say probably maybe like five or six before it like slows down and derails, but we'll have to see here. So what are the chances of all these trucks breaking down on the tracks here? On oh, back this one. Oh, we need to move this one back. Uh, let's use the trucks here. I don't know how close the train is. I mean, there's a chance, like I said, that bad boy derailed and we might have to actually like manually take it over here. Uh, let's do one more, but let's switch this vehicle. Let's make it, do we have like a box truck? Maybe we can do a box truck or something or we can do a diesel. Uh, here, let's do an H series. Uh, we'll put maybe, let's put the Scooby-Doo mobile in front of it. By the way, I do know it's called the mystery machine. I just chose to say that. Um, okay. I don't see the train from here. I mean, there's a chance that maybe it's not drawing in. Uh-oh. Where's our train? Oh, our train's making it. Uh, oh, there's the bridge right there. Holy man, this is going to be epic. All right, so it's going to be carrying about 65 miles per hour. Do you guys think it's going to be able to crash through all these? Uh, this is going to be a thing. Also, we totally have to do more in this map. If you guys have any ideas, uh, maybe like a runaway train mission. We'll have to maybe crash it off the tracks. I feel like that would be kind of fun too. All right, here we go. Uh, here it comes. Is it going to make it through all and will it continue? Oh, buddy. Yes. Oh, what the? That was incredible. It just smashed through all of them. Is it coming to a stop here or is it going to power through? What would you do if it arrived at the station and it just had all that in front of it? Um, it's maintaining speed. Wait, now I feel like this is a thing. Like, I feel like we have to stop this, right? Yeah, no, totally. Uh, hold on. It might be losing some speed. Oh, where's this switch to? Is this going to continue? Okay, no, it's good. Uh, yeah, this is going to loop around. We've got to stop this train. Oh no, I sound like OP. Uh, that's bad. Okay, uh, yeah, let's maybe get rid of one of these. Okay, folks, we're gonna have to get out the big guns here. What if we get a tanker full of explosives? Like, I feel like that's what we're gonna need. Uh, let's see, let's do diesel. This should explode it, right? <laughs> let's put that here. Uh, I feel like it might actually make it through a couple of these. So let's go two of those, and then let's put some more vehicles down. Uh, something that I think might be able to slow it. Uh, we'll do maybe the hoppers here. Uh, also, 
just ignore some of my configurations. Uh, I download some strange stuff in this game. Okay, so we're going to put these down to hope that maybe this will stop the runaway train. Okay, let's set them down. Did it? Okay, they didn't explode. That's good. Uh, on. Clone it. Okay, is it coming? Uh, I'm for sure it's heading down here. Wait, which side is it coming from? I think it's coming from that side. Okay. Oh, there it is. You can see it's smoking as it comes down the track. Also, something stretching across the world. That is insane looking. All right, well, it's got to get through two tankers and two Jeeps. I mean, I think it'll cream the Jeeps here, but the tankers might actually uh, blow up and stop it here. Here we go, and... Uh, there it goes! Oh, the tankers just caught fire. Wait, what? You've got to be kidding me. Is it? What is going on here? Folks, we got a bit of an issue. Han, is it losing speed finally? Uh, on here it is. It's still cruising at 39. It didn't even slow it down that much. This is the unstoppable train. Uh, okay. We're gonna have to do something desperate here. Okay, so I have a B-series truck. This is the last thing that I can think of to stop this. Now, there is a chance once the train gets to this bridge, uh, some of the other vehicles are gonna catch on it. Uh-oh. Oh, no, we're stuck in this. No, 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 that's not good. Okay, here. Spawn over here. Okay, we're gonna have to watch the train. There's a chance it might stop here. Uh, oh! Wait, I think the train's slowing. Okay, come on! These rails do not interact good with these tires at all. Uh, wait. I think it's dying. No? It might be dying. Okay, this is... We're just gonna have to park this on the track. Uh, this is fine. Oh, the train is hitting... Oh! <gasps> I knew it! It stopped by the bridge! Yeah, the uh, the tanker caught it. Oh, it is on fire right now. Okay, well, I mean, we don't have to put the diesel there anymore. Hold on. Here we go. I want to do more experiments with trains. What do you guys say? So, like I said, we'll uh, come back to this. Uh, comment down below your ideas, but we've got another mod to check out here today. So for our next mod, we are actually checking out this cool new navigation. It's called Beam Advisor, and it's basically the American Truck Simulator, or similar to it, a uh, little UI app here. So you can see the map here. Uh, you've got different information here. You can uh, reset your uh, odometer. You've got your fuel consumption, which is really cool. You even have like the distance to empty. Over here, you can see uh, information about the vehicle itself. And then there's like a little messages. I'm assuming maybe this is where uh, if you crash or something breaks, it'll appear here. But yeah, uh, this is really, really cool to see. Uh, also, you can go in here and customize everything. So uh, we got a, a load we can pull here. So we're going to ease out uh, and we're going to back up and pick this trailer. I put the trailer in kind of an odd spot uh, on back up. Try not to hit the barrels over here. Oh, there's a good chance we're going to hit those. Uh, oh, this is fine. We can hook up from here, right? Uh, there it goes. So yeah, uh, we could set up, maybe we'll set up a waypoint here. Say we want to take this up to, uh, we'll go to the visitor's center. So if we come back down into here, uh, check this out. We actually have the waypoint on our navigation in here. When you're like driving in this view, uh, this looks pretty cool. It looks pretty close to American Truck Sim. So one thing I do want to do, and this is something uh, that you can do with the app, uh, we can go in, we're gonna customize it. I'm gonna put it down a little bit and I'm actually gonna shrink it a tiny bit. I feel like I might've made it a little too big. So if we stick it down here, uh, this looks a little closer to the American truck simulator style, but yeah, uh, we're ready to pull out and oh, let's avoid the barrels here. Uh, we got the little arrows here, which I think this is a part of the waypoint. What is going on here at this gas station? Uh, hold on, <laughs> I gotta get by. And also, I know I'm gonna get a million comments saying, well, Komodo, you should play American Truck Simulator again. And folks, we are gonna be playing it again here soon, uh, even with maybe some mods. I feel like that would be very fun to do. So anyways, we're gonna get going here. So if you hit stuff, uh, you'll actually get uh, a notification, kind of like you do in American Truck Sim. I don't think it does anything with speed limits. Uh, you can see my speed in the top left of the navigation app. Uh, but you don't have like a little speed bar, which I, that would be kind of cool if you could do that in the future. Hold on, let's clip this bus. Uh, oh, see, there's the damage. Oh, okay. We just racked up a whole lot of damage there. I was wanting to clip the bus, not full-blown take it out there. Oh, dear. Well, 
He saw the navigation app pop up and tell us about our damage. That was just fine. We'll just restart our trip. I can't tell you how many times I wanted to do that in American Truck Sim, where you just want to just restart and get going again. Also, what? Oh, that lets you know the parking brakes on. That was cool. All right, let's keep going. You got like a time. You got all the information here. This is just such a awesome thing to see in Beam. Uh, this is actually calculating our fuel. Watch out, ding dongs. Uh, this guy's gonna pull out right in front of us. You, uh, you know what? You deserve that. Up, oh, and we about tore off the front end of your car. Yeah, it's just a cool app. Like I didn't really want to do a full video on it because obviously this is just something. If you want to step back and kind of have like a truck simulator in Beam and G. Uh, this is just a cool thing just to have. So yeah, let's pull this back up. Let's go back into that cockpit view. This has got to be like American Truck Sim here. Uh, are we are we clear? Uh, I'm going to assume we're basically clear here. You know, the two games look kind of close once you think about it. Like if you were to go into similar areas in American Truck Sim and see kind of this view. Like this isn't too far from it. You know, I just don't notice the mirrors are kind of static in this car. Is that not a thing in this vehicle? Or is that something I can adjust? Oops, sorry. Well, we don't have to worry about that mirror anymore. It's kind of gone. Uh, might have clipped off the exhaust too. No, this is fine. Uh, we got this. Um, okay, the bus just, oh jeez. Uh, we got a little bit of damage. Oh. Okay, if American Truck Sim had these uh, crash physics, that'd be great. Um, can we call in a tow? So, I kind of piled in there, but to be fair, the bus in front of us was turning some more of the traffic and yeah it caused that whole pile up there um this is fine do we have messages here nope no messages uh i just wanted to tell us about how broken it is right now no this is fine uh just a minor collision this car is on fire a uh, ruptured gas tank uh, yeah no we're good but I just really wanted to show you guys that. Like, go download it. Go download the trains. I'll have them linked down in the description. Thank you guys for all the love and support. We'll see you guys next time.